Inspectors from Japan's nuclear regulation authorities say a nuclear power plant in northern Japan may be sitting on active seismic faults. A team of five experts concluded their two-day inspection at the Higashidori plant in Aomori Prefecture. They concentrated on two faults in the compound. They concentrated on two faults in the compound. Officials from the plant's operator, Tohoku Electric Power Company, have argued that a shift in the strata was caused by groundwater. They say it wasn't the result of an active fault. Investigators say they cannot rule out the possibility that the two faults are active. He says there's evidence that the faults have moved. He says there's evidence that the faults have moved. Officials with the authority will meet to discuss the matter next Thursday. Tohoku Electric says the faults are not located directly beneath the reactor or other key facilities. Oh my God. But if regulators determine that the faults are active, the utility will have to review its earthquake resistance measures and possibly give up on in resuming operations at the plant anytime soon. The Higashidori facility is the third nuclear plant in Japan to undergo, undergo fault inspections. A team of foreign experts held its first meeting with representatives of Japan's nuclear regulation authority. U.S. and European scientists offered advice on nuclear safety. Richard Meserve is a former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He says people overseeing the nuclear industry must have technical skills if they're to properly enforce regulations and that those skills must be continuously assessed. He also said foreign staff should be hired if necessary. Andre Claude Lacoste is a former head of France's Nuclear Safety Authority. He says prior to the Fukushima accident, Japan's nuclear plant operators only implemented the safety measures that were legally required. He is not satisfied with the safety awareness level in Japan's nuclear plants. Shunichi Tanaka says the country must boost those measures by listening to the advice of foreign experts. Some residents who fled the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant may soon be able to go home. May soon be able to go home. Japanese government officials say decontamination efforts are starting to pay off. They've partially lifted some evacuation advisories and so-called hot spots for the first time since the nuclear disaster in March last year. We've confirmed that estimated radiation levels have fallen below the benchmark 20 millisieverts per year. The chief of the task force ordered the lifting of evacuation advisories as of today. Friday's decision covers 129 households in Date City in Kawauchi Village, but not all households may decide to return. Radiation levels remain above the international limit of one millisievert per year for ordinary citizens. Government officials say they hope to soon lift the remaining hotspot advisories for 153 households in Minamisoma City. Meanwhile, officials at the Environment Ministry will remove three municipalities in Fukushima and Gumma prefectures from their list of government-funded decontamination zones. Oh my God. They are among 104 municipalities in eight prefectures where radiation levels stood at 0.23 microsieverts per hour or higher. Ministry officials say radiation levels in the three areas are now below that benchmark. I mean, can you ever really trust another human being, Greg? 
No, the answer is you cannot. 